Well, hello friends. Can you believe we have been at this for 18 weeks? That's four months. And we still have so many of Jack's Seek and Find uh, paintings to explore. Um, just a reminder, there are 72 in all. There are 70 in the book. I'm just going to show you once again, for those of you who haven't seen the book, this has 70 of Jack's Seek and Find pictures with uh, full color pictures and explanations. And there are two more that are only available on the website because they were painted after the book was completed. And um, we're only gonna make it through 52 of them this year, so I don't know what's gonna happen next year. <laughs> so this week's feature is entitled Dinner and Singing, and your challenge this week is to find Jesus in the painting. It features a log church with people gathering for a shared dinner on the grounds, followed by a time of fellowship, testimonies, and singing. This week, we'll explore those two words, dinner and singing, in relation to our lives. First, dinner. Can you think of a favorite dinner you have enjoyed? Thanksgiving, Christmas, birthdays, anniversaries. Having a meal together provides a time of fellowship that is very unique. Now, church dinners are not as popular as they once were, but they can still provide an opportunity to help friendship grow. How many of you remember church dinners with tables spread with fried chicken, covered dishes, and homemade pies? And how many of you, like me, knew that you needed to go to the dessert table first and snatch up that favorite pie at the first of the meal? One of my favorite meals of the week is at our house on Sunday at lunchtime with our family. We call it Sunday dinner because it's the main meal of the day, and it certainly is. So if we enjoy food and fellowship here, don't you think it might continue in heaven? This is just my guess, but my guess is yes. <laughs> but I also, in Revelation 19, it talks about the marriage supper of the Lamb. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a good meal to me. And what about the 12 trees that are spoken of in Revelation? They bear 12 different kinds of fruit each month. So, uh, you know, we're probably going to be tasting some fruit and, and foods we have never even experienced before. So, can we all agree? Dinner is great. And what about singing? Just Pause, take a second, and think about one of your favorite songs. If you know me, you know I'm pretty fond of singing. And I love that Paul told the Philippians to speak to one another with songs, singing and making music in their hearts to the Lord. So uh, I dare you to try this. Next time you're out and about, you run into a friend at, at the store, just greet him with a song. This is the day, this is the day. Can you imagine the surprise that they might have? <laughs> or how about uh, instead of just saying a prayer before your meal, how about singing the doxology? Now, don't worry if you think, if you've heard that old saying that says, if you sing at the table, you might have crazy kids, because I guarantee you, you're going to have crazy kids anyway. <laughs> And I can hear some of you saying, but I can't sing. So here's a little something that I found that Chuck Swindoll said in relation to that. He said, never mind how beautiful or pitiful you may sound. Sing uh, loud enough to drown out those deafening thoughts that normally clamor for attention. Release yourself from that cage of introspective reluctance and just sing out. You're not auditioning for the choir. You're making melody in your heart. <laughs> so back to our painting. Have you found Jesus yet? Do you see him standing in the doorway? He is with us, always enjoying our company. And that brings us to our memory verse for this week. It's Matthew 18, 20. And Jesus says, Where two or three come together in my name, there am I with them. Perhaps when we sing, he's singing along with us. 
One of my favorite verses is found in Zephaniah 3, 17. And that tells us that he, the Lord, rejoices over us with singing. Oh, wouldn't you love to hear his voice sing? And I believe someday we will. I'd like to end today's uh, little session with a scripture verse that I wrote based on that. that. The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great deal.